Hello oh guys, I'm Shark with King back here once again. It's your time to be here. What happened to Yujiro's number one student? What happened to his private disciple? Where has he gone? Where is he? Now, I don't think a lot of people in the most recent fan base who's hopped into like Baki the Netflix series, like season three and the upcoming four. Uh, actually, no, season three, four. Mm, yeah. Season three, Death Row Prisoners. Four was the Ragtag Tournament Island. Yeah, season, upcoming season five. Season five, the numbers are mixed up. I don't think a lot of people actually know or actually talk about kind of, I th not too many people actually have read the Maximum Tournament or even seen it and everything that happened like previous with Baki and since they're all like a bunch of new fans if you didn't know you drove back during the Maximum Tournament used to have a student and this student came out of nowhere and after you drove literally folded a man like a long chair <laughs> he folded a man worse than Snoopy did that lawn chair in the peanuts and I, I more than like I doubt that guy died because Olivia Biscuit, sure, he does later fold somebody in the Rag Tag tournament. But when, when Yujiro does it, he folds him and he just he just keeps pressing down, making sure he ain't walking for the rest of his life. But and then Amane shows up and slaps him. He's just like, What are you doing? I respect you as a fire, but I could never respect you as a man. And you respect for the way he treats Baki and everybody else. Uh, immediately after that, and money get folded. Nope. That did not happen. At all. Luigi Rogers pretty much just laughs it out. And see, you see Tobagawa. This, this is my private student. And I went to the tournament. And it's like, when it first turned money, aside from, I believe he's a part of Secret Service, because he was protecting some type of president. I believe, I believe he was protecting the president. Or, or somebody who, or some bureaucrat. I gotta go back and look. But that was him. And then Yujiro found out about him, about him, saying, oh, oh, well, uh, I, 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 I got it. I got my own personal way of fighting. I don't fight with hate or rage. I fight with love. And the fact that I love my opponents allow me to beat them. And he's like, hey, Mr. President, I, I, I want to take this guy in my, pri my own private personal student. And that's how Amane pretty much joined into the series in the tournament. And aside from having a Superman flight, which... No one, un I don't even know how a person can jump that high just purely using their ankles. But he can fly. And I say when he can fly, when you see the way he lands, you cannot say he's not flying. Bullshit. You can't say he's not flying. But uh, he comes down, he beats up a rational guy, gets tossed. And then he fights Dope Part Real which is by like an earlier video of the uh, a flying spirit trying to tell when a god of wood stop. That's where that whole video comes from. But Amani fights Dopo Orochi. And uh, to a certain point, I believe that Money actually could have beat Dopo Orochi, to be honest. If he wasn't not trying to kill Dopo, which he could have, but he wasn't trying to, I believe that Amani could have won the fight. But since after getting his skull split in three different parts, and like, seriously, he could have beat Dopo Orochi. He could have if he wanted to kill him. If you wanted to, if you didn't care about uh, Dopo Roche's life so much, he could have killed him. He could have. But no, he kept trying to save Dopo's life. He tried to be the hero. And what did he get for it? Yujiro comes from the stands and blam, forward, his, forward him as well. <laughs> and this is why I used to like you. This is Yujiro, right? Yujiro is a monster. He's a despicable human being. But that was, that, that was just Yujiro. And now Yujiro is a is a booty busting machine blowing out of the man's cheek. Now remember, now if I didn't bring up in that video about chapter 100 of Baki Do, uh, Baki Do 2018 is, remember he raped that man. Well, he well, he violated that man. I, I don't know if I'm in trouble with YouTube or not. So uh, it's 50 50. But remember he violated that man 16 years ago. Baki was like what three, four, six years old, sixteen years ago from the current time. He, this, this is not something like that was like ages ago. Meeting that when Baki's mother was alive, Yujiro was out here stealing man's cheeks just to do it. I should have brought that up before, but uh, yeah, pretty much. I was bringing the question of where's the money? What where's Dopo's? And where's uh Yujiro's number one student? Because ever since then, ever since he was folded like a lawn chair. I believe there was like a post credit show where uh, we have some of the fighters in the Maximum Tournament. I don't remember what happened to him in particular. But in current day, out of all characters to return, we brought back Sumo Rashley, we brought back Agari multiple times. We brought back multiple different characters for no apparent reason. Even Korea is still making cameos for no reason. Where's the money at? 
He's just gone, just vanished. Now, if he's dead, which I doubt he is, because th th these are Baki characters here. These are Baki characters. At this point, the only thing harder to kill is Wolverine. Because we have seen people fold it and still live. We have seen people crip, like, like burnt alive, get their faces plastered on with plaster surgery. With no type of problem. Just, just, you know, from a few scrapes and scars, you're going to have all the skin blown off your face. But for a money, he just has never showed back up. He's just gone, vanished. He's just disappeared. It's almost like he didn't even exist as a character. And it's never brought up how literally usual have had only one student, and we've never seen him again. We have seen and caught up with the death row prisoners and everybody else. Give it Jack Hammer, I'm pretty sure he's gonna make a camo eventually. At this point, five dollars that uh, Jack is gonna fight uh, Nomino Sukune, and uh, I believe Jack gonna lose that fight. The only reason he's gonna lose that fight is they're not gonna treat Nomi like they're gonna like they treat Ali Jr. Boy, uh, 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 I, I've seen strangers, so uh, I, I could be wrong on that. But uh, cause, like, th there's no other way. Cause, like, I was inches away from making a video about uh. Like, why are we even reading this anymore? If Nomi no Shikuna would have got up against Yujiro, I would be questioning why are we reading this. But uh, he did, so who, who knows what might come up happen. He did do something interesting. But back to the main subject, I was questioning what happened to our money. He has never showed back up again. He's never been mentioned. Yujiro, to this date, has only had one singular student. Besides from Baki, which he taught stuff as a child, while he was busting cheeks on the side. 16 years ago? 16 years ago, just... I can never see the character the same no more. These, and it's a guy who got no one else to blame. Look, 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 before, of course, Yujiro was a savage. He was a beast. He was a horrible human being. But he wasn't a rapist. Now, the whole thing with Jane is unconfirmed if she raped him or not. I, I, I'm just looking for information. But, uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's just, uh. <laughs> oh boy. But I have always wondered, have I always questioned. How the whole plot line of it's similar to that whole one op story of how Yujiro brought up to Muhammad Ali that he's had multiple children across the planet, but we've never seen any of them other children besides from Jack. And that's it. So what happened to them? Were they just killed by Yujiro or are they also getting the usual smacking up and beatings? Maybe Yujiro killed them children. Who know? Who knew? Who knew? Because he wasn't about to kill Baki when he was a child, though. If, if Emmy would have ever stepped in and got her, her ribs snapped up and broken. I, mean, I don't see why. When, it, when he hugs Emmy like that, she died. Did the Baki. <clears throat> now, I might have broken her few ribs. I might have my molars and my entire skull broken up and messed up. But I'm still alive. I guess. I guess. I guess. Before we get back to the main subject, I want to get this uh, soft right here now. Baki is not as strong as Yujiro, he is nowhere close to Yujiro, and Yujiro arguably wasn't even fighting him seriously. He's even Kozue had to point out that he stop playing and start fighting. Kozue of all people, who haven't even shown up for at least 200 chapters straight, and she coming out and exposing these two for playing around. So, yeah, but to the main point, Amane has been one of those characters where he had great potential. Now, I don't know what Itagaki was going to do with him, per se, but you could have given us, like, he he he, he go wander out to the sunset or something, because he's just been folded. And unlike the, uh, unlike the guys in the ragtag tournament, they, there's no, there was no real reason to really care for them. But the whole aspect that Yujiro actually had a student that was out there that he actually personally trained... And that plot line just goes nowhere. It's just, uh, I guess we just get call it the good old classic Itagaki special. It's not something uncommon, but you expect that of all characters that at least he'll get like a cameo appearance, or at least show up once. You know, what it was like to train with Yujiro. But uh, now that this doesn't happen, he just gets folded, and that's and that's it. Maybe I'll go back and see what happens to him in the post credit scene, but I don't believe anything like really happened besides from him like being in the hospital. Besides from that. After getting folded, Tess. Baki is the only series to this date where you can actually get folded like a lawn chair. That I have seen nowhere. I, I, actually, honestly, I've seen no other series where a person can get outright folded into a lawn chair. I, I've, I, 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 I've, I've yet to see this anywhere else. Yet to see it anywhere else. Uh, but overall, this not was never meant to be a long video, but I just find it quite strange. 
execute security for Joy, execute security for the president or for some pillow station. Fantastic skill. Literally got the motionless jump. And his kicks were just outright criminal to even be used against a human being. But he never shows back up again. He's just he's just gone for the rest of the series. And out of all characters, you bring back Sumo Rasslers nobody cared for. You bring back other characters no one cares for. But the one disciple of Yujiro, he just never shows back up again. Never. So it's just... Alright then. I'm not expecting him to become a part of the main cast like Gaia or somebody else or Kato. Who those characters just show back up that, that was there at the beginning. But on Monday, they could have done something with that character, right? Like, but then again, then again, if they would have, it'd be no different what they did with the death row prisoners. Like with Dorian training for no reason. What is he training for? Or is he actually mentally damaged? Or is, is he actually suffering from some type of brain damage? Or when he fought Retu Kyle, his ego shattered so badly, he just reverted to that as a failed state. Uh, as a safe state. As a, as a default plan there. To, to secure his ego. Him, there's just like Yanagi's out there. Just he's just out there in the streets. He's just out there. Hector Doyle is just he, he's behind bars and that's it. That's it. That's that. That's just it. And he discovered a new technique, which I don't see why Shigate hinting to all these things if we're never going to see them. There's no point of that. Similar to money it's just what's the point of him being there? Well, I understand why he was introduced. But Yujiro just really should have just killed him. Because I checked on the wiki like a few months back. And it's unconfirmed what is happening to him. You just should have had Yujiro kill him. Just would have solved the problem. It's just like, I, I don't see it as a plot hole. I just see it as a, a missed potential. Of like the catch up this character. I don't want to see him fight. There's no need to see him fight. But see what he's doing. See what it's like to train under two lits of Yujiro Hama. We've seen how he treat other people in the universe. We've seen how he treat his own children. But how would he treat a disciple? Cause he really didn't say anything about his teachings. It really was rough or what. So it's just one of those things where it just it'll be interesting to develop to see what happens. Really, that, that, that's my whole point. But it'll be what it is. It be what it is. Itagaki will always do Itagaki. It's just, it's just how he is. It's just. Man, I don't hate the man or anything like that. But it's just my goodness. It's, like what what, what 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 have we been doing here, Billy? Like, what are we and also would it even be a continuation to Garukin? Which he, he's not the writer of that, but he was the artist to it, so it's just who knows. Who knows? But overall, I hope the guy thoughts the pins. What do you believe what happened to our money? Because as far as I know As far as I know, like after the Maximum Tournament, nothing really happened to him. Like at all. Like he brought back Alexander Zan not Alexander. He brought back Garland, because in the anime, in the English dub, they called him something else. He had a different name. But that guy they showed at the beginning of Season 3, that's that same Russian from the Maximum Tournament. But they brought him back just to get his ass whooped. But Amani just, after he gets folded, just nothing's happened to him. Just, 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 just nothing. And it's just... I just it's just an odd plot point to leave out for no apparent reason. For no apparent reason. Uh, Luzro literally pretty much cripples a man for this man, and then after a money lose, he just disappears, just vanished, just gone, and he got folded like a lawn chair, like somebody else. So, you know, I'll take a cripple cameo. I'll take any type of cameo from a money, because it really is kind of waste of potential. Because I don't want to see him to fight, but the fact that we've gotten no type of update on him, but we can see all these other characters is just strange to me. Especially since Nomino Sukuna is fighting Yujiro, maybe he can get some insights of how the delicacies are, 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 are one way Yujiro fights or something like that. But I doubt we ever see that. But uh, yeah, Amane, a forgotten character that we'll never see again. That's never going to happen. But I don't know if you guys thought about Amane. You can go back to watch the original series on YouTube. It is up there. And yeah, I wonder if you guys thought it depends on which he should return as a character or not. Because with him in that motionless jump, and pretty much flying like some type of, what's some type, some type of, some type of superhero. It would be interesting to see if him return. I don't really care too much about him fighting, but just see him return to get some insight about Yujiro or something like that would be interesting. But I doubt that ever happen. But it'd be Mr. Sharp Ken, you guys thoughts and opinions on whatever happened to uh, Yujiro's pretty much only disciple, the only one he's ever had. 
because he butt top but box. He's like some basic techniques, but besides from that, he hasn't really trained anybody else really. So he'd just be interested to catch up with him. So what he's been, so he's seriously been doing these last past uh, like two years, two to three years, somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah like, like two to three years. See, see, see what he's doing. See what see, see what old money's doing. Is he going back to work for the Secret Service or is he doing his own thing these days? Uh, who knows? Who knows, Bobby? Who knows? What do you mean, Shop King? Let's go sell some pain. What do you think about Amani? Do you think he should return? Should we get some type of insight of what he's been doing all this time? Do you think, uh, we should catch up with him or have somebody doing him? Because seeing Amani versus Musashi being Moto would have been an interesting fight, to be honest. Okay, I doubt he'll win, but to see him do that motionless jump and just fly in front of him, I wonder how Musashi would react to that. It'd be one of those type of things, but uh, ugh, I doubt that would happen. I doubt it. But if you shop can look, guys, <laughs> hope you guys like the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, check out the comic book. The comic book's out there. I'm still working on it, but uh, only I've been reading it. So just if you shop can look, guys, that's the pain zone. Peace.